Hello everyone! So I have a hair tutorial for you today. Um, what I'm doing is like my everyday go-to hair. If I don't know what to do with my hair, this is the way I like to style it. I think it looks very effortless and nice. And I also thought that it might look really nice for Valentine's Day because it's just so like silky and full and fun and just very pretty. If you want to know how I did my hair this way, then just keep watching. So all you're going to need for this hair tutorial is a heat protectant, any straightener, a brush, and some good old bobby pins. Okay, so first off for this hair tutorial, you're going to want to start off with straight hair. I just find that this works the best. Um, I don't have straight hair, so I do have to straighten it. If you have straight hair, then this is going to be a super simple, maybe like easy, quick in the morning hair tutorial for you. And it looks really put together and, you know, fun. Um, I also like to start off with my bangs clipped up and out of the way. Um, it just helps for when I'm working with everything else I've got going on here. You also all want to make sure that you're going to protect your hair. Um, the heat protectant that I use is just the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Um, I love this. I don't have any complaints. I think it smells nice. Um, but if you guys have any, any opinions on this or anything that you think is better, let me know because this has just been my go-to so I haven't really strayed away from this. Um, I just like to take this, spray it all over my hair. And then I just like to take my comb and just brush it through to make sure that it's going to evenly disperse throughout my hair and protect it. The straightener that I'm using is my Paul Brown straightener. Um, I've had this straightener for over a year. I love it. Can't say anything bad about it. So to start off, I like to just section my hair into two sections. So I just like to go like so, going kind of like halfway down my head. If you have a clip, it probably work better if you had a clip. I don't have a clip on me, so I'm just going to use a good old elastic band, wrap around my hair, flip it up, get that out of the way. So then you're just doing, starting with the first section here. What I like to do, take a tiny portion here, just about, I don't know, an inch that way. And I like to push the rest to the back, just so I know what I'm working with. I like to take my straightener, start halfway down my hair, and then turn it like so, and turn it away from my head, and pull down. You end up with this little like bouncy curl. I like to focus on curling it away from my face. So you don't really want to curl the whole piece of hair, sorry if this seems really scattered, but just basically the ends and away from the face and pull. right in the front of the face just to start a little higher off than the other pieces just to kind of start that curl off a little higher okay so this is what my first layer looks like then you're just gonna take down your hair and start doing the same thing with the second layer. And again, all the front pieces here, I like to start a little higher. So that you get that curl starting a little higher. But these pieces don't need to be as high and can start near like halfway or two thirds down the hair. And remember, always curling away from the face. And 
And then after I've gotten all the curls kind of like out, swept in my face, I do like take my fingers, kind of just shake it through so they're not so like formed and they kind of like just like flow into each other. Okay, so at this point I like to take my bangs down. Now you can just style them however you want. Uh, I have side sweat bangs, so I just like to style them off to the side and kind of give them that same curl so it kind of just flows in to the rest of the hair. Now you can leave it like this if you want, but because I've had my recently dyed purple, I do like to kind of showcase that color. So as you can see, all my purple is like right here. So what I like to do, and I don't like to take the very front portion because I still like to keep that in there. But take this here and pin about that much back. See, then you can really see my purple. And I like to take two lolly pins. Pin one like so. And the other one crossing the opposite way so it kind of makes an X. And that's going to hold that in place. And then I like to do the same with the other side just to kind of get it. So it matches. You can even... Sorry, that's out of focus. You could even go and like push up a little bit if you want some volume. You could tease it. At this point, you can take any pieces that maybe you've missed or you want to add a little more curl to in the front. And again, taking the fingers, I just like to shake it out. All right, so this is the finished hairstyle. I'll just show you guys quickly. This is the front, the side, and the back. And if you have like a little bow, you could take a bow, clip this here, you could take all this and pin it together and push it up, make it more into like a half thing. I just like it just to be down like so.